the Fed Health Extera Light, um, we will start you on 9 o'clock on Sunday morning um, with a swim. It will also be a remote start. The remote start at the um, rowing club. We will count you in, be there in time. Um, you'll get your race briefing, you'll be counted in, you'll be counted out. So we know that everybody that starts the swim will be all. It's accounted for basically. 400 meters, you'll turn left, you basically stick to the shore, close to the shore. Um, from the dam, basically back into the transition area. Off you go on your mountain bike leg. This year, 13 and a half kilometers with roughly about 300 meters, 350 meters elevation. Again, we'll start you on the famous or the infamous red climb. It's about a four or five K climb to sort you out after the swim before you hit the single track. The second half is all single track coming back with some cheap track you know, every now and then just to sort yourselves out. Guys, but nothing technical. It's not the same as a full route. It's a fl flow, flowing single track through pine forest. And it's really nothing to be scared or nothing to be worried about. Um, from your mountain bike into your light run. The light run will be seven kilometers. Um, two water points. You are heading out after two k's a single track and come back, um, you know, past the dam wall, through the river, come back via the beach on the Ekenhof Dam and you're back in to the finish line and experience a beer in a winter light area. We're trying not to enforce the rules of, of triathlon as harshly on Xterra light as on the Xterra full, but we still need to have order. And therefore we request you to find out when you get there where it's registration. You need to do your body mark and find out where that's happening. Where's the start? Go and rack your bike. And please, in, your, in the bike area, there will be a talkback area. So you're only allowed basically the clothing you're going to change in your shoes and a small towel. Guys, and please remember it's an, it's an Xterra, it's a triathlon. There are no change rooms or big toilet facilities within the transition area. You, that's why I try suit or get a swimming costume that you can put your biking gear over it. And no riding without shirts, please. That's part of the real uh, sister. Yes. And when you run, make sure you've got your number with you. When you bike, your number in front of your bike. With our young Xterra warriors. Um, guys, I mean, as the usual, the young kids will start first at six to eight years old and we will complete the whole event, four o'clock. They normally take, I would say, roughly about 20, 25 minutes. It's a short swim, it's a shallow swim. It's not a swim that they cannot walk or cannot swim. It's basically from a side to a side and with the lifeguards accompanying them and no problem. Uh, it's, you know, they can swim if they want to swim, if they want to walk, and obviously parents are welcome to, to go with them. Um, the bike afterwards is about 1.5 bike. It's normally an out and back, um, just purely because of the climbs in Krabo, we use the easiest route out and back for them, um, followed by a 400 meter run. Once we're done with a, with a six to eight years old, we'll start with 12 to 14 year old. Um, the swim is a bit further, it's roughly about 200 to 250 meter swim this year that we'll put in for you. Um, there will be plenty of lifeguards, that's not a problem. Um, after that mountain bike, 10 kilometers mountain bike, fairly easy, nothing major technical, no major technical sections in it. Um, it is however off-road, it is Krabo Forest, there will be some you know, pebbles on the area, there will be some sandy sections. So, yeah. and again. We prefer these kids to go on them by themselves and uh, no parents with them. Come and enjoy the event, come and enjoy the day, stay afterwards and we'll have a beer or two and chat about the experience and yeah.